Hi, welcome. In a few days, we will uh, release officially the 19th of January, we we'll release the January version. And even if this, this ISO has been built only a few, well, I think 10 days ago or something, it really uh, shows again that there is lots of things to update. So the first thing maybe before we go into detail about the new stuff is just include a quick update as well. A few commands you need to know and these are all aliases so you type alias in the terminal and you'll find out what these aliases are. One of them is an update and this is a particular important one these days because we have this one the new Linux version 20.1 so and the system D as well. Two reasons to say, okay, we need to reboot as soon as everything is installed. That's one. Then we'll check if um, the rest is up to date, but let's wait here for this installation. All right, the update is at an end. We scroll back up and we see that there are lots of, there are lots of things that's going into the ETC scale. And you'll know when you see the word scale somewhere in here, you need to type basically scale. This is gonna copy paste everything from the ET scale to your own home directory. Now remember we had this Linux and system Z thing. So the first thing we do is we boot. We're in a virtual box and what you're seeing now is quite normal because of this system D that has been updated but um, let's just wait for the countdown to, to continue here, but we're not filming it. And like clockwork, it will reboot. That's a computer. We're going to go to the, not the first line because that's loading up the ISO, it's still in there, but boot up to our grub system here, our, our hard disk. A virtual one okay but our hard disk actually an SSD but okay <laughs> so update has been done we have done a scale already the next thing we should do is tell to copy paste the bash RC latest over to the bash RC that's done with this alias and last thing is well let's check again update shouldn't do anything right fine and now we do the rest and the rest is then AOR and there are new stuff coming in let's scroll up again so these are the guys that will be updated and there is one thing you should know about this selection here that Eric Dubois is now the maintainer of anything Numix on the AOR and we've jumped from version because of it and we have to solve a solution a little bit later on but let's wait for that to pop up. And there we are. So this um, can happen to any of uh, the packages and the future packages with any of the um, software out there. If you get this message that a particular file is um, blocking because it exists already blocking the update or the upgrade or the installation because of the uh, it exists then you need to remove it so what you need to type is sudo remove sudo because it's on a protected part rm to remove and just type what it says there the pathway but be accurate about it. I mean, it's uh, capital sensitive. And there you go. If you've removed that file, the particular thing that blocks your update, all you need to do now is run it again. And let's wait for everything to finish. Pausing again. All right, the update has finished. And basically, it's not that hard to keep uh, ruling and to, to stay up to date. There were four commands used, update, scale, cb, and pksyua. And now we're going to, in detail, going to, well, it's the system is super up to date now. It's still the latest version at this point. And this is a new wallpaper from Variety, just pressed Alt N, but it's not Halloween time. So let's take something more general. 
So what's new in the January version of 2019 Arkel Linux XFC Openbox i3. It's the full ISO, right? Well, one of the things we've done in the past weeks is continue to develop the Arc Linux B ISOs. So the Arc Linux B is where you build the ISO yourself. And there were a few guys who were still left undone, we still had to do. And that was um, Budgie, Cinnamon, Deepin and Gnome. So these guys, these guys got their minimum version. So Budgie, Cinnamon, Deeping and Gnome. And if you start counting, we're at this point in time with Xmonad as a new one. That's the next uh, thing I have to talk about. So we have now 12 desktops. So it's up to you to decide if you want our full ISO, the way we see a full package, full blown desktop environment. This is a minimal, like one browser, one text editor, a text editor, etc. But you can always, 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 let's just take an example, always edit the file. So the idea is, this is my setup. This is a file. It's called packages x86-64. You edit it, you change the content of it, you run a script. This is the script running in here. And then you get a little procedure, a video to help you. And that's it. You have a system that will be the way you want it to be. You mean you select the packages that go on there. And there is a, in always on every of these pages, there is a explanation that if you want to auto login, the only thing you need to change is this file and this line. And that's that. So all the information about Arcanlux B for new developments, for new minimal ones to try out. Budgie, Simon, Deepin, Gno. First point. Second point is our new um, information about the data, the high speed data server. So we have acquired a place in the world where we can put our stuff. Arc Linux repo, repo third party, repo ISO, but also the ISOs themselves and the beta ISO. So if you want to become a beta tester, you can do that at any point in time. We'll share the beta versions and you hear it correctly they are beta for a reason they can be wrong they can be uh, changes you need to do but basically they will work for I don't know 95% but it's going to be beta so we bought ourselves some disk space and you can navigate via this link to the place and download the ISOs at this point in time 18.12.7 is here but in Saturday the 19th we'll put our beta versions and we'll probably gonna put these guys and move them just over to another folder because everything seems to be okay with them and we'll release the beta version as the official version. Just so you know already. So that's that. Um, the high speed data server. The other information shouldn't have closed that. The other information is that you have now a Xmonad. So we can see this in arclinuxd.com. People who will want to start with Arclinux B ISO. There is the Xmonad here, phase three, Xmonad gallery, installation, Xmonad articles. So we can have here this um, way, this explanation to how to install Xmonad all the way. And as you see, we still need to make tutorials for it. So it will include zero, one, then two comes maybe theming, three, what are the, the core elements in Xmonad and so on and so on. So new articles will be created. It's another window, a tiling window manager like um, i3 or like BSPWM, but it's completely different like every Tiling window manager it has its own characteristic characteristics. <laughs> Difficult word, um, but it's 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 uh, interesting to uh, have a look at and experiment with it because it's um, quite uh, beautiful. Then um, the other thing we've done, which is probably more of um, back end service, is and I can't show you that. I can show you that in. Um, Arclinux.info, 
what we always do is try to make our Arcolinux calamares as good as possible, as um, stable as possible, but also as new as possible. So we have changed our calamares to version 3.2, which means that if people were having problems in the past, then with this new version, maybe some of those issues have now been resolved. So we are um, following the releases that these guys do on their GitHub. That's our graphical installer that we use. Then we had updates and we can actually stay here as well. We can stay here as well. And I should probably go down here. At some point in time, we got an update of um, VirtualBox and it looked like this and it was really ugly. As you can see, it you can hardly read it. So basically we sought for uh, an, an, an application or a way to make this work again. And we found it by installing Quantum. So Quantum Qt5 and Quantum Theme Arc are new packages. And it's also accompanied with Arc Linux new packages an Arch Linux Qt5 and an Arch Linux Quantum. So basically we end up with a system that we can actually look at and read. And that's the idea. And we see some pictures here and some pictures here. So that's much better to read if you're looking at this uh, left one. That's uh, changed as well. That's new. And we have a new Conkey. A new conkey that we can take a look at here as well a new conkey here and it's all themed in stargate as you can see and you can change some elements in here and it's it's quite beautiful graphically uh, quite nice so that's new as well we've done actually a lot of work in conkeys but you won't notice it all the conkeys have been checked for um, fonts that the fonts are correctly displayed but not only displayed that the copyright is in, in order, that everything is now um, well checked and, and double checked and all the copyright uh, articles or, or licenses are on Arcanex. This one as well, Azuli has been fixed. We saw that the month uh, here, this, this number, what you download monthly was not correct. So we fixed that, so we have a correct code behind it so that VNstat displays the month here, or the Conkey displays the number from VNstat. Okay, um, what's new in .bin? In .bin we've done some fun stuff. This is the fun stuff. So a color test or a color test slim to include for you some screenshots. If it's a show your Friday desktop scrot, you know. And we've added a application called boxes which can make a nice surrounding uh, well if you have a text you can surround it with some graphical ASCII art which is quite nice right and for the rest well there are general improvements and I'll um, add them as well in um, in the article in the release article that will be written pretty soon and this video is going to go in there so that's what we've been up to. Um, I think it's um, as a whole a lot of things that we've done and we are not mentioning a lot of things that we have done behind the screens and little changes and making keyboard shortcuts. I'm thinking like Ctrl Alt P. Try it out what it does on the new machine here, the new version of January. It's a new shortcut and lots of these things have, well, been changed. Ufitch Arco, for instance, as well, a little way, little icon that we can create now. You have to install Ufetch Arco Git and then you'll have that as well. Nomax is beautiful now, that's true as well. So we have created a new um, look for Nomax. Well, created, we did not create anything. We set it to a theme. That's beautiful. So that's done as well. All right, I think that's more or less it. Maybe just one last thing. Let me guide you back to the article about the data server. 
So just wanted to point out that SourceForge is still going to be our, our usual way to download. It's there, it's available, it's free. And if you don't, if you see that um, SourceForge gives you problems and you have a slow download, then of course you're welcome to download from our new data um, center here, data server, and you can download the ISOs from here. Okay, um, enjoy at Linux. And thank you for your support because it's thanks to your support that we could decide that we decided to acquire this data server. All right, cheers.